Let's explain India's carbon credit policy over a cup of chai. Imagine two stalls making the same chai, but one burns coal and plastic, the other runs on solar and reusables. The second stall emits far less carbon dioxide. It pollutes less to serve the same cup. Under India's carbon credit trading scheme, the second stall earns credits for every unit of emissions it avoids. But why would anyone want these credits? These credits are tradable. The sustainable stall can sell them for profit, improve its sustainability score, and even get easier access to green finance. The polluting stall, it must buy those credits from cleaner companies or start cutting its emissions. If it doesn't do either, it pays a fine up to twice the market value of those credits. It applies to over 130 major industries, cement, steel, aluminum, and refineries. Each has a legal emissions target. Emit less than your cap, you earn credits. Go over, you need to buy them or face a penalty. But why? Because how India scales up clean energy could change the global climate story. This policy puts a price on pollution and flips the equation. It turns emission savings into economic value. It starts with heavy industries, but leads to cleaner air, greener energy, and greener jobs across the country. The next time you sip chai, ask yourself, would you earn a credit or pay the price?